hello viewer uh, so today I have something I'm pretty excited to show you it's a I haven't done a redstone a practical redstone build in a really long time uh, I think it's been about almost a year the last one I did I think was uh, uh, three minecraft traps or something like that and either way it was a long time ago so I'm pretty excited uh, this uses um, a lot of commands from the uh, from the latest snapshot so it will not work in 1.7.5 but that's not a big deal uh, you can see my like little turret uh, building thing got a little messed up. I was having a little bit too much fun early, <laughs> earlier with some of the ammunition types. Oh. <laughs> but right now I just have a stream of snowballs come out when I stand on the pressure plate and you can see wherever I look it uh, it shoots in that direction with a little bit of delay. Um, and you can probably tell by now there's, uh, there's only a limited number of spots you can aim. You see it just snaps the next spot as I look so far over. Um, and that's just limited by the amount of time and command blocks you want to put into it. Um, I, I have 32 different spots I can aim, four up and down, eight left to right. Um, you can see one, two, three, and four, and one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, six, seven. I got a little messed up there. Six. That's number six, seven, eight. Um, and uh, but now snowballs are boring so let's get something a little bit more interesting alright so now we're shooting uh, primed TNT as you can see um, the way this works is after the snowball has existed for a certain amount of time it spawns a piece of primed TNT uh, so pretty cool uh, we'll try one more type of ammunition we'll um, uh, damage splash potions Um, ammunition like uh, TNT and flash potions are good for these turrets because you can only aim in a certain number of places and it helps to uh, helps to broaden your range of uh, being able to damage mobs um, which is definitely good um, so if we look under the hood you can see we got a lot going on with command blocks Started out and in digging into this 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 uh, side of this hill or whatever with like a tiny little cavern and put down like thinking I was only gonna need like 20 command blocks. I'm like this is gonna be easy. Before I knew it, uh, I was wrong. There's a lot going on. We can see we have all these up top and then we got more down below um, over here. But uh, so basically these timers here and over here are constantly testing for my rotation. Uh, so if we look at one we can see test for at nearest player and then I have these parameters set for the rotation and each one of these command blocks is slightly different in the rotation numbers here um, so I earlier I said there's 32 different places I can aim for up and down and 8 left to right so if we look at this we can see up and down 1 2 3 4 rows for the up and down so this row this row is all gonna have matching um, left to right numbers but different up and down and then same for each rows they're going to be slightly different up and down but all four in this row are going to be the same and then you can see there's eight in these rows for the left and right so for each of these rows here these up and down they're all going to have the same um, uh, x rotation the up and down uh, but slightly different left to right rotations and so then at this point you just have a big area of testing for rotations. Um, whichever one tests positive will activate their comparator. Um, go on to set off their turn on torch off and turn on this command block which will spawn um, an iron block we can see. Uh, set block right below it back a little bit or yeah uh, a Minecraft iron block right here and that'll complete this circuit which will power this which will summon a snowball to the corresponding direction uh, the player is facing. Uh, there isn't like angles for this, you just have to put in motion values that will equal the angle. So you can see I've, this is all, this, uh, oops. So this command block corresponds all the way to either right or left, I, I don't know which one. Um, so we can see it's shooting at a 45 degree angle here. Uh, the, the positive 4 here uh, is 
pushing it forward from the turret. That's the X, and the X positive X is away from the turret forward. And then this is pushing either to the left or the right. I don't know offhand, but it's either way. And then we get a 45 degree angle. So that's the uh, range of, like the range firing range, like the um, the the high the far furthest angle you can shoot with the turret is 45 degrees. So there's an iron block spawn there, um, and so if you look somewhere else, it's gonna spawn an iron block on any of these to that corresponds to the way you're aiming. Uh, but to get rid of this one, the block here, or else I'll just keep shooting, um, which happened earlier. Pressure plate. Whoop. <laughs> um, uh, these command blocks here will so when this loses its signal when this stops emitting um, it, this torch will turn back on and activate this command block here which is set block of air underneath it down here uh, so there, that's what all these are for so I mean it looks like a, a lot of command blocks but it's, there's really only like four um, unique commands pretty much um, so that's pretty much it for the aiming. I'm not going to go super in depth with this. Um, if enough people, if enough of you guys ask for like a super in depth, I'll do it. It'll be a long video, just saying. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm going to keep this one kind of short. Uh, so that's it for aiming. Uh, but snowballs are boring. Um, you can actually you could switch this to. I had arrows in the beginning, but I'll go over why I switched to snowballs in a minute. Um, but so if we want to switch it up, this what that's what this is for. So this command block here is just the timer for this. So it goes in there. Uh, that's what that's for. This one is constantly. So this is the just like the other things, constantly executing command almost at all times. Um, so it's adding scoreboard players. Um, it's adding snowballs to a scoreboard that measures how long something has been alive. Um, then this command. Um, is telling is ex the execute command allows an entity to execute a command like as if a player did so execute at the nearest entity type snowball uh, score time equals one which means it will execute this command when it has when it, the time existed is one which is almost immediate um, and then at its own coordinates it will summon thrown potion um, and then potion. This is the type ID. All potion IDs are three point or three seven three. And then damage is the type of potion. This is a splash potion two dam or instant damage splash potion. Um, right there. And so if we want to change this up, we could just get rid of summon throne potion and uh, TNT or prime TNT primed. TNT at its own coordinates. Oop. And that's that. So, with that in place, even throwing a snowball would pri uh, throw, uh, activate a prime TNT. Uh, the only problem with the TNT is you have a set range because it's gonna it's gonna activate. Yeah, actually, I almost forgot something. Um, it's gonna it's gonna spawn that TNT at life one. Um, and uh, so if you're gonna use TNT, it should be higher than that. Uh, so you get some distance from the from yourself. Uh, but the problem with that is it's a it's a limited range. Um, it's either so far or so little, it'll just blow up at a certain time. Uh, the reason I didn't use arrows in here, it's, I use snowballs instead, because arrows when they hit the ground don't disappear like snowballs. So um, either you have a constant flow of damage potions just flowing out of the arrow um, until the arrow despawns after like a few minutes or whatever or which was even worse what happened is the arrow never disappeared the TNT exploding does not destroy the arrow and the arrow just sits there constantly spawning TNT the arrow gets like shot up in the air and like just goes up in the air with from like this blast of TNT infinitely um, so I would advise if you're gonna do this I would advise against using arrows um, I had Eyes of Ender at one point because I thought it'd be cool if they were to like go through uh, services, but they caused a crazy amount of lag. So snowballs are pretty good. They're just kind of like a base, like a default, a good default ammunition, and then you can just insert whatever you want here 
uh, to get your effect. Um, so that's pretty much everything. Like I said, I'm not going to go completely into every single block. If you want that, go ahead and just request it. Um, and if uh, I'll, I might do that. All right. So as far as the uh, trigger mechanism goes, uh, there's our pressure plate. If we look underneath, player steps on the pressure plate, goes down here, and these will spawn uh, down in the inner workings down below. It'll spawn. It'll set block at these coordinates. Uh, redstone wire, which will just complete a circuit. So we have there, there, and there. So there's four different spots that'll spawn the redstone wire. Um, and then when the pressure plate, uh, when the player steps off, um, it'll turn. These torches will be turned off by the player being on the pressure plate. And then when they get off, they'll turn back on and set that block back to air, uh, just like the um, iron block for the down here, just like the iron block. Same concept, just like these. Almost the exact same thing. Um, uh, so, I'll show you where they spawn here. So, here's spot one. So, it spawns there. It'll start that timer. Um, and then give power to um, all these. That's spot one. Spot two is. Spot two and three are right here and here. Uh, the reason there's the command block that's uh, that's part of the timer for this. The reason that it's out here is because if it was over here, it wouldn't reach all the way across. Um, but there's the same result. And then spot number four is over on the other side. Pretty simple. So uh, if you enjoyed, leaving a like would be great. And thanks for watching.